Hey everybody, this is Vance with Mid-Century Homes. Today we're over at 1627 Gorley Street. And this home was built in 1958 by Victor Hosford. It's a three bed, two bath, just about 1700 square feet. We're really excited to show you this one and the best part is it's all black. So let's go check it out. So for today's video, we actually have the, the homeowner herself, Kelly Tallman. Thank you for joining us today. Um, so can you tell us how long you've owned the house? Um, I've owned the house for close to three years now. I bought it back in April of 2017. Can you give us an idea as far as how you dialed this place in so well? I'm just fortunate that it kind of came together the way that it did. I've kind of always had a secret little passion of loving to decorate. Um, and when I bought this house, knowing it was mid-century and knowing the background, um, I tried to match that style as much as possible. It just, it took a while, but it just slowly over time came together piece by piece and it just kind of clicked. <laughs> So now we're in the living room slash dining area. Can you give us an idea of what, what your favorite features are in here? So my favorite features would have to be a combination of probably the floor to ceiling windows, the mahogany walls, of course, which give it a lot of character, and then the lantern light. That's probably one of my favorite features. Well, awesome, Kelly. Let's go check out the rest of the house. So interesting story about this this addition area. Can you give us an idea uh, as far as what that looked like? Yeah, of course. So right now we're actually in the living room of the add-on part of the house, which I believe was added on sometime in the 70s. When I purchased the house, it was full of boxes and old clothes and curtains and things like that. A lot of things in here hadn't been um, updated since it was built in the 70s. So there were definitely things I wanted to add to make it feel more mid-century and to match the rest of the house. So you've done paint and wallpaper in here. Where did you get that wallpaper from? The wallpaper I actually just tracked down on Craigslist. I had seen it online before, but I didn't pay for it full price. And then when I found somebody else who had rolls of it for um, a better price, I bought it from her and uh, it just worked out perfectly. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. And huge shout out to Kelly for letting us check out her amazing house. It's ones like this that make us love what we do. And we hope that this has inspired you to make your own mid-century dreams come true. 